Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today for the Best Buy Canada blog, and today I'm taking a look at another one of these arcade one-up uh, retro style gaming cabinets. This one's called the Arcade One-Up Marvel vs. Capcom Arcade Machine with riser and stool. And previously I had reviewed the NBA Jam version of one of these machines, and for that one, I went into quite a bit of detail about the assembly of the machine and everything, and uh, kind of step by step. So if you want to get all that kind of detail, I would advise you to check out that review at the Best Buy Canada blog, and especially watch the video. Uh, with this one, I'm going to kind of more skim over some of that stuff, but I'm going to talk about the features and, you know, all the different things. So let's get right into her here. So basically, when it comes to putting one of these machines together, you're looking at pressed wood and screws. And that's basically what this thing is made out of. And you kind of line up all the different pieces of pressed wood and screw them in. You will need your own Phillips head screwdriver, but that's the only tool you need for this. And there are four different electronic components and they eventually get screwed into place as well. So there's a uh, light up marquee. There's a speaker set. There's a nice 17-inch LCD uh, screen, and it's, it's in color and everything. looks very nice. Uh, the graphics on these games, by the way, are uh, totally cartoon style, just what I expect in a video game, so I'm really enjoying that. And then, of course, there's also the actual console, so the part with the buttons and the joysticks and everything. They're your four electronic components. Uh, you slap all that together. I think this one took me about 45 minutes to do uh, in its entirety, and that's with my wife reading the instructions and me kind of following along and that's probably a good 20-30 minutes quicker than with the NBA Jam machine simply because I kind of knew the <laughs> the procedure. It was basically the same with this one as it was with the other one. Now the games that are included on this machine, there's five of them. There's Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Heroes. There's one called Marvel Super Heroes. Now that's the one that I've mostly been playing and really enjoying being Spider-Man. I'll show you a little bit of footage from that here in a, in a minute. Uh, there's the Marvel Super Heroes. War of the Gems. That one's a little bit slow. I didn't really take to it. There's a little bit more of a narrative and stuff, so that's kind of cool if you like that. But the rest of these are mostly straight up fighting games. There's also Marvel Super Heroes versus Street Fighter. And Street Fighter, that's the stuff that comes from the Capcom side. So those are the folks that develop the Street Fighter games and everything like that. And then, of course, there's one called X-Men versus Street Fighter if you're into the X-Men or the Street Fighter characters. Anyway, uh, like I say, I've been uh, I've slapped this thing together pretty quick, and I've really been enjoying playing it. I've only had it together for a few days, though, and to really learn all the ins and outs of five games, uh, not really possible. So like I say, I'm mostly stuck with the one game. I like being Spider-Man. Uh, I like to, you, you know, you fight against the other, <laughs> the other Marvel heroes like Iron Man and the Hulk and everything like that. But one thing that's really cool about this particular machine is that you can go uh, online with it. So there's a Wi-Fi connectivity feature and you basically just hook into your home Wi-Fi. You will need your internet password. It's very quick, very easy to do. Once I hooked it up, it did have about a two minute download of a firmware upgrade or whatever, and then I was off to the races. But I did find, and this is probably because this machine I believe is somewhat new, I did find that uh, there wasn't a lot of people online to play. Like when you click on quick match or whatever, I believe that sets you up with, uh, you know, another random person that's online looking to play. And uh, I didn't get any, any takers on that. But if you know someone else that has the same machine, you can kind of meet them up online and everything. And that could be really a lot of fun. Now the stool part, it's a nice stool. It has some Marvel artwork on it. That took about 10 minutes to assemble. And the custom riser, that's another 10, maybe 15 minute job. Uh, you can boost it up to more of an adult height. I kind of like it lower because I'm, I'm just basically using a kitchen chair to sit in it but <laughs> rather than the stool. But anyway, it's a whole lot of fun. I do go into quite a bit more detail on this in the written review. So again, over on the Best Buy Canada blog, where I have also linked to my NBA Jam machine review. Uh, these are very cool machines. They're very retro. Uh, I grew up in the 80s, the early 90s. That was kind of my prime years of, of high school and everything. And this kind of thing was big back then, you know, arcades are everywhere. It was a whole lot of fun. 
Uh, I lived in a very small town without, <laughs> without an arcade, but uh, other towns and stuff had them, and the pool halls would generally have a machine or two. Uh, so this is really nostalgic for me. If you're kind of in my age range, you'll probably enjoy it the same way. If you've got kids, this is uh, intended for 14 and up. So yeah, a lot to like here, and there are other machines. There's one with Pac-Man. Uh, lots of different uh, setups and probably more to come I would think so anyway thank you for watching this video uh, do go ahead and check out the re written review uh, overall I can definitely recommend one of these machines uh, do not fear the assembly process it is very easy uh, that's the last thing you should be worried about if you get the budget for this and primarily the space to put it in this is probably for you and if you enjoy the games that any particular machine has and like I say this one pretty much straight up fighting game. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Have an excellent day.